This is National 5 Indices Homework and we're using the Pegasus Pack for this one. We've got questions 9 and 10 and that's the last two questions in the Indices Homework that we're going to do. And these ones here are kind of getting closer to the, uh, the AB type questions that we would be dealing with with uh, indices. Right, what we have here is we have to express this here in its simplest form. And what I can see is I've got uh, fractional indices, I've got a negative indice here, and what I'm going to be doing is I've got a bracket I'm going to have to multiply out here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the bracket out. And remember when we multiply, we're going to add the indices together. So that's what I'm going to do first of all. So I've got a to the power of 2 over 3, which is this one. I'm going to add on to that 2 over 3. I've got a subtraction sign that's in between here. okay, And then I've got a to the power of 2 upon 3. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add on to that minus 2 upon 3. Okay? So sorting out the indices. So that's going to be a to the power of, if I've got 2 thirds plus another 2 thirds, I must have 4 thirds. Minus, and I've got a to the power of 2 thirds minus 2 thirds. So that gives me a to the power of 0. Now just finally, the only last thing that I'm going to do to try and get it into its simplest form is that I know that e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And that's going to be my final answer there. So multiplying out brackets, adding the indices when we're multiplying, and remembering we've got e to the power of 0, and that equals 1. Okay, so we're on to question 10. Same thing again, we're going to multiply out this bracket. One thing I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to change this here to bring the a up to the top because remember that's a to the power of 1 that's there and that's a to the power of 1. So I'm just going to rewrite that first of all so that it uh, looks in a way that I'm going to multiply this out a bit easier. So that's a to the power of 1 and that's going to be plus a to the power of, when I take that a to the 1 to the top it becomes a minus 1 power. Okay, now I've got everything on the uh, the top line, I can just go ahead and multiply out. Remember when I multiply, I'm going to add the indices together. So that's going to be a to the power of a half plus 1, and that's going to be plus, the plus sign in between here, a to the power of a half plus minus 1. Okay, so what I have here is a to the, the 1 and a half, Remember, one and a half would be the same as three over two. So how that works, let's go for a to the power of a half plus, and instead of one, I'm going to write it's two over two, because two divided by two is just one, plus a to the power of a half. And remember, that's just going to be a minus now, and that's two over two. So what I've got here is a to the half and two halves. Well, that's going to give me a to the three halves or a to the power of 3 over 2, and that's going to be plus a to the power of, so a half minus 2 halves will give me minus 1 half. Now if to write it in its simplest form, I would think that that's, that's the, the question complete there, but really if it had said to, to put it in with a positive index, I would have to change this last one here, so that would be a to the power of 3 over 2, Plus, and what we'll do is we'll take all of that there down to the denominator, okay? So if I take that down to the denominator, that's going to be a to the power of a half. And on the top, it's not nothing that's there. It would just be one that's in there. And it's as if I've got that one that's sitting in the front here. And that's where that's there. Okay, so, so that's this question complete. So let's see where we're getting the marks. So it's just a two mark question for, for question nine. I'm going to get one mark for getting it to this level here. Another mark for going from a to the power of zero kind of equals one. And that would be the final answer corrected there. What we'll go for here, I'm going to go for one mark for getting that a to the minus one. Or if you've done it in another way, but still come out with the correct answer, then I'm sure I'll be giving you another mark there if you do uh, transfer that another way. And I'm going to give a mark here for this because it doesn't say that we need it in uh, with a positive index. So I'm going to leave it with that answer there. So it'll be a to the 3 over 2, 
plus a to the minus a half. So this is going to be four marks for this section or this clip and for the indices section in total we've got 20 marks in the homework.